Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Pompberry, and I swear that my roots don't normally look like this. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be doing something quite different from what I usually do on the channel. I'm going to be doing a hair transformation. I've already started the process, as you can see. I've bleached my roots once already. Now I have to bleach them again and then dye and tone my hair. And then I'm gonna be getting a haircut and then I'm gonna be doing something that I've never done in my life. It won't all be filmed today. I didn't film the first bleaching process because I figured you didn't have to see that, but I will be walking you through the second bleaching process, the dyeing, and all the rest. A little disclaimer before we begin, do not bleach your hair yourself at home. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm gonna do it because I've been bleaching my own hair for over 10 years. I'm not a hairdresser, but I've been dyeing my hair for even longer than that. I've been dyeing my hair since I was like 15. I'm almost 30, so almost 15 years. And so I've done this process so many times, but if you do not have experience with bleach, do not bleach your own hair at home. I do not recommend it. It is not safe for you. So basically don't do what I'm gonna be doing next. <laughs> But anyway, I'm excited. I haven't gotten a haircut in a salon in years, like so many years. I've gotten trims here and there by friends who are hairdressers, but I haven't gotten a proper like haircut that I went with a specific idea of what I wanted. And that's what I'm gonna be doing this week. I'm gonna be visiting a friend who is a professional barber and hairdresser, and I am hoping he will make all my dreams come true. <laughs> Before I bring you over to my bathroom, I'm just gonna quickly walk you through what I've done to my hair so far. I went ahead and bleached the roots with 40 volume for 30 minutes. I know that is a lot and that's a long time. And a lot of people will say you're not supposed to do that, but I have experimented different volume levels and different times on my hair and I know what works for me personally. So I did it once at 40 volumes for 30 minutes and this was the result. This is my natural hair color. This is what I got after 30 minutes of 40 vol. I did that a couple days ago. I've been adding products in my hair to moisturize it as much as I can before the second bleaching. I currently have like a really intensive hair mask in my hair right now. And I just added it to my hair this morning and I made sure to work it into my roots because I'm gonna be bleaching that area again. And I've just let it do its thing so that now I can bleach on top of it. And hopefully it won't damage my hair as much. I always try to really, really re hydrate my hair and add a bunch of protein and stuff that it needs right after bleaching. And you can see that the hair is a lot lighter, like right under the roots. That's because the bleach kind of went past the roots a little bit and bleached the area that was already bleached. So I'm gonna try to avoid that area, but I will be bleaching the rest of my hair with a lighter vol of developer because it's pretty uneven. I experimented a lot with like different silver hair dyes and in the end it gave me a result that's like kind of patchy and uneven and I don't like it. So I kind of want to start with a clean slate if possible. So I'm going to be doing that after I'm done with the roots. I'm going to run a lighter bleach all over my hair and leave it for less time. So all that being said, I know I'm talking a lot, Let's go over to my bathroom so I can bleach these roots. Okay, so the audio in here is gonna be horrible because I don't have my microphone hooked up, but I'm able to bleach and dye my own hair because I have these two mirrors that, you know, swivel and then I have a mirror behind me. I'm gonna start by just brushing out my hair to make sure there are no tangles. And there are a few. One thing I am missing though is a protein treatment for my hair. I definitely am going to need some protein once this is all done. If your hair is stringy and you know, like elastic when you pull it, that's because you're missing protein. And bleach will do that to your hair. And last time I bleached my hair, I started from the back and worked my way forward. So today I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna start at the front and work my way back. But I did miss a little spot right back here. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna start with the rest. That's one of the pitfalls of doing your own hair. Sometimes, I miss a little spot here and there. Okay, so I've mixed up my bleach and I'm just going to add some to the little spot where I missed just so that can get going while I bleach the rest. And again, this is not a tutorial on how to bleach your hair. I'm not here to teach you how to do this. I'm just showing you how I do it because a lot of people ask me how I do my own hair at home. I'm gonna avoid the very, like the very root because that part's already 
pretty pale. And that will save my scalp a little bit. Sorry if I make faces, I'm just like trying to hold my glasses up with my face. But basically all you need is a lot of mirrors and patience. You need to be able to see your head from all angles. And I mix my bleach in smaller batches. I don't do just one at a time. I used to just make one big batch, but I found that it kind of works better if I make it fresh for each section. And so I tend to mix about three batches, one for the crown of the head, one for the middle, and one for the back. I've actually never timed myself doing this, but filming helps me know how much time has passed. And I'm actually going a lot quicker than I thought I did. And boom, the last chunk done. I'm going to check the beginning here because it was a little bit messy. I don't like starting from the top and going back. It's a lot easier to do if you start from the back and go up. So I'm just gonna make sure I got every little piece, every little bit of root. Nope, I did not. See, this is why we check. And this is why doing your own hair sucks. <laughs> okay, so I let 15 minutes go by just with the bleach on my roots. Now I'm gonna apply it to the rest of my hair. And it turns out I don't have 20 volume developer, so I'm gonna make some 10 and 30. I'm gonna do more of 10 though. And I want the consistency of this to be a little bit runnier so that I can run it through the length of my hair. I like to keep it quite thick for my roots. For this, I'm just going in and using my hands. Can't believe I mixed the exact right amount of bleach. All right, now we just gotta wait a few more minutes and then I'm gonna wash it and treat it and then dye it. <laughs> it's a process, y'all. Okay, so I just washed my hair and this is what it looks like. I am full on Draco Malfoy. Now I'm gonna do a treatment and then I'm going to dye it. So the treatment I'm gonna do is one that I really, really love and I honestly need to do it more often. I don't because I just forget or I'm lazy, but it's the Double Dare Oh My God 3-in-1 Kit Hair Repair System. That is a mouthful. It does come with a shampoo, that's step one. I didn't use it, I used a co-wash instead, which is a conditioner that you use as a shampoo. So I'm gonna go in with is step two, which is recovery protein treatment, which is what my hair desperately needs right now is some protein. It's not elastic. Thank God I did not ruin my hair. You know that your hair is kind of past the point of no return when it becomes elastic and it has not gotten there yet. And I intend on never getting it there, but I was super worried about doing the bleach all through the hair because I was scared that that could happen. This is just like a hair mask that you massage into the hair. It says recovery protein treatment is enriched with an antioxidant fatty acid complex of omega-367 rich argan oil, vitamin E to nourish and protect hair. This recovery protein treatment eliminates frizz and helps reduce hair breakage, promoting beautiful and healthy shiny hair. And it's handy that it comes like in a packet like this because you can take it with you when you travel. If you're gonna be somewhere like on a beach, for example, and you're afraid of ruining your hair from all the sun and the sea salt and all that, you can just carry one of these with you. It's super handy and it smells really good too. I'm just gonna work that in into the scalp as well because I did do most of the bleaching there. But this hair treatment, it has been a lifesaver before when my hair was really, really damaged and it wouldn't really like form any curls. I used this. It helped me get my hair back to a place where it looked like hair and not like straw. <laughs> so, you know, that's something. Once that's all worked into the hair, making sure every single strand is coated, I can go to step three, which is a self-warming collagen and keratin infused mask cap. Okay, so in it, it's this little cap and it's got product in the cap as well. It smells a little funky, but it works. Boom. <laughs> and you're supposed to work it into the hair. So that's to leave on for 10 minutes, remove the cap and rinse hair well with lukewarm water. Gently press and rub the mask cap to evenly distribute collagen and keratin. I'm gonna leave it for more than 10 minutes because my hair really, really needs it. So I'll be back in like half an hour, maybe more. We'll see. Now it's time to tone and dye the hair. I'm only gonna be using color depositing dyes. First of all, because I've already done enough damage to my hair, I don't wanna add anything that has even more peroxide or has ammonia in it. So I don't use permanent hair colors. I leave all the harshness to the bleach 
and then I do my coloring with color depositing dyes, which are usually conditioner based. And the second reason I choose these is because I am not a hairdresser. I do not know the chemistry and I do not have the knowledge that you need to have to do proper hair color with actual permanent hair dyes. I'm just an amateur doing stuff at home. I have been doing this for like 15 years, but I'm just an amateur and I'm just used to using color depositing dyes. So I actually thought I had some of my favorite. Turns out I only have a little tiny, teeny tiny bit. And my go-to silver, perfect silver hair dye is the Ion Color Brilliance in the color Titanium. And so today I'm just going to tone my hair, but I probably will do another session with just this bad boy once I get more. And you can see my hair is already starting to frizz up. It needs some more moisture in here. So I'm gonna use this guy basically just at the front of my hair because it's what you see first and this is the color I like the most. Then I'm gonna mix some stuff up. I'm thinking about going in with the Kiss uh, Temptation Mystic Silver on the ends. I also have the Kiss Platinum. I might mix a few colors. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of winging it. I'm brushing it on at the roots just to make sure it gets all up in there. And I'm just running it through my hair. Where's my hands? If you want to see a better video of me dyeing my hair, I know I'm not like explaining anything today. I'm just kind of showing you the process. If you want to watch a better one, I have a full video on how I dye my hair silver that you can watch by clicking somewhere. I don't know what direction. I think probably up here. No, wait, I'm mirrored. So up here. Now that I've gotten to the crown of my head, I'm going to mix some of the titanium into the little bit that I've got left. And this is a much more potent dye. It's really, really good. Like I really like the Kiss ones for general touch up, but when I'm fresh bleached, I like to go in with titanium first. Sadly, I don't have a ton of it today. I could have sworn I had it and I should plan these things better, you know? But whenever I dye my hair, it's just like, I do it impulsively. I don't ever plan it. So here we are. I'm gonna apply that all on here. And I actually wanna add some to the bits back here that are a little bit on the copper side still. Add it wherever I feel like I need it. And now I'm gonna leave this on for quite a very long time, probably like an hour or so. The Kiss colors say to leave it for like 10 or 15 minutes. I always leave my color on for an hour or more. So that's what I'm gonna do. I really want the color to like get in there. And since it's conditioner based, it's also gonna help to rehydrate the hair. So that's why I like leaving it on for a long time. And in an attempt to create less waste, I always reuse my gloves. So I wash them with soap when I'm done just like as if I was washing my hands. And then I take them off and use them the next time I dye my hair. Now it's time for my haircut and Steven is currently at the American Barber Shop in Eco Park. And this is how my hair looked before after all the toning and everything. And we had a quick little consultation to make sure we were both on the same page regarding the haircut. Then he started by shaving my sides and I asked for a fade because I had never gotten a fade before and I was so excited to get a fade. Then he proceeded to cut my bangs and chop off the hair on the top of my head, creating the wonderful layers that will lead to the long mullet. This haircut happened coincidentally the week that salons and barber shops opened back up in California. I wasn't aware that it was that same week. And yes, I was a little bit scared of going out to get my haircut because I've just been avoiding going out in general. But as you can see, everyone was wearing masks and their space is huge. So there was no one around us at any point, except for a very quick cleanup that you can see while Steven is drying my hair, where another barber came and cleaned up up a little bit but I felt very safe during the procedure and I also made sure to get tested for COVID that week and this is the result he put a little bit of styling product in my hair to really get the back to spike up and I absolutely love it it's been about a week since I got my hair cut this is what it looks like it's a little bit smushed at the back there's no product in it any styling product there is leave-in uh, because I always put leave-in products in my hair after I wash it. But this is kind of what it looks like when I wake up, minus the fringe. I actually had to wet it to get it to sit down. Otherwise, it looks exactly like this back part. So that's just the one thing that I'm having to like adapt to, is that my fringe, it just 
does go up in the air and so I have to like wet it down to make it lie flat. But honestly, I don't mind. It kind of like wakes up already styled. I don't need to put much product in it to get it to do this thing. But anyway, why am I here? Why am I in my living room? I don't know, just cause. Didn't wanna go back into my little filming corner because I'm gonna go back to the bathroom again. I was lucky enough to have been sent some extensions for my hair. This is the Bellamy Magnifica 240 grams, 24 inch in the color sterling silver. So I reached out to them and told them about my hair transformation and they were like, yeah, we're happy to send you some extensions. So this is my first time trying them out. I have opened the packaging already because I was a little, a little in a rush. I don't know, I was really excited because my plan for this hair was to get it really, really long with extensions. And I did buy some extensions off Amazon the other day, which I dyed and I can show you a bit of that process here. I did the watercolor method. So I was dyeing a wig with it at the same time and I just put the extensions right in. But those extensions were really, really thin. I ended up having to cut them up and re-sew them so that one clip would have the density of a regular, you know, like Bellamy clip-in extension. It was just so, so thin. And it's fine, I got them to match my hair color, but I'm just really excited for extensions that I don't have to like cut up and Frankenstein them so that they'll have a good density to them. When I got these in the mail, one thing that I didn't know that Bellamy did is that they provide a tester here at the bottom. So they have a seal that says warranty void if removed. So as soon as you open it, you can't return it anymore, I'm assuming. And because of that, they have a tester that you can open up and test out and see if it matches your hair before you commit to opening the packaging. And so I actually already did that. Um, I took it out and it's like a touch more violet than my own hair. I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but I think you can maybe tell that it's slightly more violet than my own hair. And that's pretty normal for a silver color to be violet because for you to tone bleach blonde hair you need some violet in there to get rid of those brassy yellow tones and it's not something that you can tell by looking at it like when i look at it i don't think oh this is violet but when i compare it to my own hair i can notice that this is a little bit violet so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to tone my hair i had been wanting to do that anyway i wanted to retone it because you can probably tell maybe not but I have some banding happening here where this is like the perfect color and then this is the perfect color and then right here I just have this like yellowish kind of stuff happening and then at the roots again as well. And so um, I'm not that happy with that. So I'm going to actually use toner that requires developer. I know that I said that I don't really do that. I just use color depositing dyes but for something like this where I have toned it with a color depositing dye and it wasn't enough, I'm gonna go in with an actual toner that requires developer. And it's the toner that I used to dye the other set of extensions that I bought. Hopefully that'll make my hair match these extensions and then I can style them to match my hair. I'm so excited to get these in my hair. Like you have no idea. And these are so nice, like the top of them is really, really nicely finished. You can tell that they take care when sewing these. Ooh, I just noticed that on the clip itself, it says Bellamy and then it has a lot number. And I imagine that's for quality control of the hair. And that's actually amazing. Like it really shows you the amount of care that's put into this product. All right, so let's bring you back to the bathroom and let's tone my hair yet again. Yes, it's a process that I don't always love, and that's why sometimes I'll let my hair grow for like six months without redoing it. But it needs to be done because I decided that I want silver hair. So it has to be done, it has to be done. Welcome back. So I am going to be using the Wella toner in the color T18, lightest ash blonde. And I'm gonna start by just lightly dampening my hair just so I can get it to kind of spread out a little bit easier on my hair. First, I'm only going to apply it to the blonde faded areas. Let it sit for like 15 minutes and then I'll apply it on the rest of the hair and let that sit for another like 10 to 15 minutes. So let's begin. I have a half bottle open and all you do is you mix it up with one part of this to two parts of 20 vol. Mix it together, it looks crazy. It's 
brown and we begin. So again, where there is banding happening, the bottom here, there's also another band happening. Then on to the next. And the reason I'm not just putting this on my entire hair is that these areas need the toning the most and also developer will damage your hair and I don't want to do that to all of my hair if I don't need to. I mean I will put it on all my hair but for less time. Another reason I decided to tone my hair after cutting it is because then I'm not wasting toner, I'm not wasting product, and I'm not, you know, wasting time. Okay, now the long part is done and it's so weird just having this amount of long hair on my head. Now, I have to kind of treat the ends of these shorter bits. So that's gonna be a little more tricky, especially cause it's all in like irregular weird layers. But I'm gonna try to make it work. I'm just going to kind of brush the ends of the hair or maybe get some onto my glove and then just run it through the very ends of the hair. I also don't wanna get any on my roots because my roots have already started to grow out. And if I get this on my roots, it's going to lighten them, but not enough that it'll get them silver. And so they'll just be like orange, nasty roots. It's been 10 minutes since I did all this. So now I'm going to spread it to the rest of my hair. Now I'm gonna just let that do its thing for another, I don't know, 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna wash it out and I'll be back. I just washed my hair and I've got a little bit of bad news. I feel like that toner did absolutely nothing for the banding. You can still very much see the yellow portions in my hair. And so I'm going to add my favorite color depositing dye, which I didn't have last time. This guy, the Ion Color Brilliance in the color Titanium. This is my go-to dye. It always has been, and I'm just gonna use it in the areas where you can see it's blonder than it should be. Cause that toner did nothing. I think maybe the toner did work in some areas, but not as well as I would have liked. If you can see here, my hair is still very, very, uneven. I don't even know if using this guy is gonna help at all, but I'm gonna go for it. Cause why not? I'm not gonna film that process. You've already seen me dye my hair twice now. So you get the gist. I always dilute the titanium dye a little bit. And this time I didn't dilute it enough because my hair went super dark. So now my hair really doesn't match the extensions. <laughs> Um, I'm still going to style the extensions so that they match my hair, but they'll probably only match in color in like a wash or two. The, the thing is, this will fade pretty fast from my hair, so they will match. I might have to tone them with this dye though. I'm probably going to do that at some point. Okay, so my hair is kind of dry now. The roots are still wet, but you can see I put in the extension and you can see it's quite a bit more lavender than my own hair. So I'm definitely going to have to tone these extensions, which I don't mind doing. I figured I probably would have to tweak the color because silver is such a specific color that you need to get like the tone just right. So I'm probably gonna tone them with the color depositing dye that I used on my hair last uh, because it gives it a more gunmetal gray, I guess, rather than lilac. So I guess I'm gonna do that and I might try the watercolor method. I feel like it's so simple to dye them that way. I probably won't use a ton of water. So let's go to my kitchen. This video is so all over the place. I apologize, but also that's what coloring your hair at home looks like. This is what being poor looks like, okay? If I could go to the salon to get this all done, I would. I totally would. But, hmm. Anyway. I'm just delirious at this point, I think. But yeah, let's go dye some extensions. I wanted to open these up on camera so you could see what they are like. This is my first time taking a look at them too. You can see how beautiful the hair looks. It is so soft and so shiny. And it doesn't look lavender when I look at it, but then when I compare my hair to it, it looks a little more lavender. But let's get this out and see 
how many pieces are in here and all that jazz. These are 100% Remy human hair. Before and after use, remember to brush your Bellamy hair extensions kindly with a soft bristle brush. Gently wash your Bellamy hair extensions in lukewarm water, apply a little bit of shampoo, rinse out the shampoo, and apply conditioner. Okay, just like regular hair. Never comb through your Bellamy hair extensions while they are wet. Good to know. Always use a heat protecting spray. Store them in a dry and flat place. Okay, perfect. So let us take a look. Here we go. They come wrapped up like this and they're very, very long. <laughs> Let's open up these bad boys. I have a feeling that I might have to cut some of these um, at the top because this is too wide for my head. I only have a mohawk. So I'll probably have to cut these into two segments of two clips, which is fine. So we've got one four clip section, two four clip sections, then it seems like we have two three clip sections, which I think these might actually be too wide for me too. I might have to cut them into sections of two and then little single clip sections, which is fine by me. I don't really mind. I prefer smaller sections that I can you know, easily customize. And then we've got one two clip section plus the tester, which is also a two clip section. So we have two of these and then we've got four single clip and they're so cute. They're so tiny. These are going to be perfect for the higher layers in my Mohawk because I feel like they'll be able to hide super, super easily. And yeah, I think they're going to be great. Now I just need to tone all these bad boys. So let's move over to the sink. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna use my Ion Color Brilliance Titanium Dye. Um, I only use this much to dye my hair. I'm definitely going to need more for the extensions. I'm probably gonna use the rest of this entire tube. So I'm just going to squeeze that straight into here. And then I'm gonna use hot water to break it up. Don't want to use too much water. See how it has a more blue tone to it? I should maybe use a whisk rather than my hands. That's probably a smarter idea. But listen, I never said I was smart. Should have probably diluted it with conditioner first because then it would melt into the water a lot easier. Okay, now that it's pretty much dissolved, I'm going to put the extensions in. Let's. Let's try. I'm going to run my hand through them to make sure there's no clumps of dye. I don't want anything to get like tangled. Going piece by piece. I want to make sure all the hair is evenly coated. I wish that I could dye my own hair like this. It would be so much easier. So I basically used just enough water to coat all the hair. There's like barely any excess water in here. And now we will let the dye do its thing. I'm gonna leave this for like 30 minutes probably. I can already see a difference. It's definitely more blue toned than it was, which is great. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, I feel like this matches my hair a lot better. And since it's the dye that I always use to retouch my hair, I feel like toning these extensions was not optional. Like this is something that I definitely had to do to get it right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I finished washing out the extensions and some of them got really, really dark. So I'm probably going to bleach them at some point, but not right now. But you can see it is still lilac. That toner didn't really remove the lilac. It just added kind of this really dark silver, which this one turned out like an ombre. So I don't even really mind that. It looks pretty cool. Um, and it's nice to have variety, but I really want to remove this lilac from the extensions. So I'm going to attempt something on this one little strand to see if it works. What cancels out lilac? Yellow. And so I'm going to grab the tiniest bit of yellow dye and I'm going to dilute it in water. Ooh, this one, it's clear. And I just want to literally dip it in for a second. This looks like Gatorade or something. And I'm going to dip it in for a second and immediately wash it. I feel like that's all I will need, but literally a second. And then I'm going to take it out and I'm gonna wash it. Because I do not want this to turn yellow. And I feel like that was probably too much. 
even that little tiny bit. Let's wash it out, see what happens. This is color theory happening live. It looks a little scary, it looks a little yellow. It looks a lot yellow, but the lilac is definitely gone. Boom, so I'm, oh, but that is definitely yellow. Let me wash this with some anti-dandruff shampoo. I'm glad that I only did it in this one little tiny one and I'm gonna try to wash it out really well, probably multiple times. I'm gonna dilute it even more and use even less yellow, but that does seem to do the trick. And that's probably what I just should have done in the first place was color correct the violet out. I'm gonna wash it yet again because this is, quite yellow still at the top. This is real time, me panicking, trying not to ruin these beautiful extensions that were sent to me. Right now the rest of the extensions are, um, they're washed and they have conditioner in them. So they're just chilling in the conditioner. Ooh, this looks promising. This looks very promising. Yes, it's no longer yellow and it's no longer lilac. Oh, this is amazing. This matches my hair now. I mean, it's still, I can see a hint of lilac, but that doesn't matter. That does not matter. I now need to deeply condition this guy because look at him, the poor fella. Now I can set this one aside. I'm not super mad at the darker ends and I can always wash this so that it'll fade. I might not have to bleach it at all. I can just probably wash it so it'll fade this color that I did. But I'm gonna dump out this yellow so that I can use half of it. It seems to be very, very, very potent. And I'm just going to use a drop. So about half of what I used. And I'm gonna dilute it in even more water so that it's probably as half as potent as, as it was. Maybe a little more water even. And I'm gonna do strand by strand so that I can really control the toning. Let's get another single. The singles turned out a lot darker than the bigger ones. So let's do dunk and that's it and wash. Dunk and wash. Oh, this is kind of perfect. Let me dunk maybe a little bit more. Maybe that wasn't enough, but I'll dunk it for a little longer and then rinse it out and see how that goes. I think this is the perfect amount. There's a little bit of lilac, so maybe one more dunk. One more dunk, a little bit longer, and then that's it. Now I will wash it out. That seems like a good, good match. Real good match. Sweet. That's all I gotta do. And it's a much better match. Amazing. But I will have to recondition these after doing this. Guys, it's a process. <laughs> I told you it was a process. This is lots of steps to get the perfect extensions, to get the perfect silver. It's hard. Hi, good morning. It's the next morning. Can you tell from my bed head? Anyway, I've put the extensions in and <laughs> I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to give them a bleach bath at some point because they came out a little too dark, but it's fine because it matches my hair right now. But I know that my hair is gonna lighten in like three days. And so once my hair lightens, I'm probably gonna give these bad boys a little bleach bath and hopefully then I'll get the color right. But you know what? It's a process. This is my first time working with these extensions and I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm going to, I just like randomly put them on my head so I don't even know if it's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them correctly onto my head and then I'm going to dampen them and my hair and I'm gonna braid my hair. And that way I'll get the same texture on everything. Then I'm gonna do my makeup so that I can look cute and I'll come back to finally show you the finished hair. And this is the final hair look after all of that. <sighs> these extensions are freaking amazing. I'm so excited to have these and Bellamy actually gave me a discount code if you guys want to save some money when buying extensions and the code is 
Oh, very. And you can use that to save a little bit of money, which is always good. But yeah, I'm out here to show you guys the result because this way I can stand up and show you just how long these extensions are. They're, they're pretty, they're pretty freaking long. Yeah, I'm just so, so happy with this hair. You can see my inspiration for it right back here. This is a drawing of Yolandi Visser. No, I did not draw it, but I've been wanting to do her hairstyle for so long. So I'm really, really happy that Steven freaking nailed it. And I'm even more happy that I have these extensions to make my mullet dreams come true. And yeah, I hope you guys liked seeing the whole process that was my new hair. I know it's not a drastic difference. I didn't change the color or anything, but I still hope you enjoyed seeing the process. If you don't care about hair and you're just here for the makeup, then don't worry. I've got makeup tutorials coming soon. And then we've got Halloween. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be awesome. Anyway, I hope you really like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to all my patrons who support me and I'll see you next time. Bye.